Hey, it's me, Colby. I run the site uh, Kratom and Ethnobotanical Support. And hey, how's everyone doing? Got my trusty notes as usual. Um, let's see. Let's start out with it's been pretty busy for me. I've been working with a lot of vendors, uh, getting their websites up. Uh, I still got a few to work on, including my own. My uh, my my website was temporarily shut down for a hot minute there, and it was it was ridiculous because I admin on a few other sites for vendors and the like one received a complaint and even though it had nothing to do with my account or my site they shut mine down I see that it's been put back up but I, I'm not going to use their services anymore instead I'm going to be using a site at Wix and I'm one or two pages away from having it done and I'm really excited it's looking really good there's gonna be more features like scheduling and uh, you know contact options and just just different features and it'll be a little bit easier for you guys to get a hold of me and to use the site uh, I'm really excited for it I think it's coming along really well, and it's going to look a whole lot better than the one I had before. I'm going to leave the old site up for, I don't know, maybe a couple of days after I get this site set up, and then I'll be shutting it down, and I will be moving to ethnodefender.wix.com slash kratom support. So, coming up tomorrow, it'll be Friday, <laughs> is a drawing at one of my blogs on my blog, diactchillthoughts.wordpress.com. I am doing my monthly drawing a little bit late. I hope everyone understands because it's been pretty busy between the holidays and the websites and a few other projects that I've got going on. Let's see. I will be... Actually, I just got one of my bonuses in today. So one lucky winner is going to get some of my beautiful Redhorn Cali. Now, when it came to uh, to building all these sites lately, I had no idea how hard it is for you vendors to get e-commerce solutions going for your site. Uh, just about nobody wants you guys as a uh, as a merchant account customer, and I am absolutely appalled by the lack of wiggle room there and uh, I plan to do some writing to some uh, big merchant account companies and credit card processors and you know I'll, I'll be keeping you posted on how they reply to my messages um, <clears throat> speaking of sites and my sites and the services that I've been providing I have decided that <clears throat> some of the services that I provide I'm going to need some form of compensation uh, I, I, I honestly and wholeheartedly started out uh, wanting to be a volunteer and I wanted to keep it completely volunteer donations only but some of my services uh, they really take up a lot of my time and time away from my family and a lot of energy and just the one site that I've been working on uh, for the last few weeks it, it's I, I've been in front of the computer at least 14 16 18 hours a day and you know 
that's that's just time away from my family and my kids and myself really so when it comes to stuff like that uh, I will be requiring some form of payment but I'm very easy to negotiate with I'm not set on a price you know the other thing is is that I've decided when it comes to the website building I will be offering like an extended 30 days tech support included if you need me longer or you want me around longer to do certain things I will talk about it then but I just I, I don't just build the site and hand something pretty over to you I I set up everything from your shopping cart and your products list. I will write your about section or, you know, I, I put the whole website together. It's not, it's not just handing you over a site and being like, well, here you go. <laughs> so that, that's why I'm, I'm going to decide on that being one of the services that I will require some sort of payment or compensation but like I said I will negotiate and I do this because I love to do it and it, it if I didn't I wouldn't do it in the first place but because of the time that I spend on it we'll, we'll talk about it when it comes time <laughs> so I want to move on to my project I've decided to take on a project called the Kratomon Project. <laughs> That's what I've I've dubbed it. And it will basically be, you know, I'm hoping to gather volunteers for it as well, but I want to test it out in my area first. I'm going to basically do what like the Girl Scouts do and sit outside of a store for an afternoon and pass out flyers and pamphlets and talk to people about it if there's a current legal issue um, I wanna try and get signatures for that I wanna I really wanna make the public more aware about Kratom and how much it's helping so many people and I talked about in my last post here on YouTube about putting a face to this cause and showing everyone that it's, you know, r real people are suffering and they're finding Kratom to be beneficial and we need to get the word out. I think it's really important, you know, not only online. Like, I know everybody, you know, is online and you can get their opinion one way or the other, but I feel that getting out there in person and explaining you know, not only my own personal story, but passing out the, the flyers and the pamphlets myself. You know, it's saying, hey, I have experience with this Kratom, and if you've seen something awful about it on TV, don't believe everything that you see. You know, it's I, I've seen so many things on news reports. Uh, it, it almost makes me laugh now. I, I used to get so angry, but I'm just laughing that that people actually believe this stuff. Kratom is not a hallucinogenic. It, it doesn't mess you up beyond belief as one of the latest stories that I watched uh, described. You know, it doesn't ruin lives. It, it, it helps. It saves. It's a miracle. <clears throat> and I really want to spread that. I want to spread public awareness. You know, it's not just between us in the Kratom forums anymore. It's, it's, you know, I know newbies come to us in the forums and seek our advice and our experience, but when it comes down to it, when you're watching uh, a TV show or, you know, the news, you're watching the news, how often do you actually go online and Google what you just saw, you know, and figure out if it's right or if it's wrong. I mean, ha it took me several hours of research when I first heard about Kratom to decide whether it was right for me or not. And it would take <clears throat> several hours for somebody to really get 
a good handle on what Kratom is and what it does and not in, you know, just, you'd be weeding through so many media stories. I mean, that was one of my biggest problems when I started with Kratom, was just weeding through the negative media and being like, do I believe them? You know, so I'm really hoping with this I can make a difference, at least in my area. And uh, I've even considered, you know, I, I know that I can't hand out the, the flyers and the pamphlets and give, give away samples, but I was thinking I could do one or the other. I could, you know, share my story and the, the pamphlets and flyers and... Uh, you know, just get the information out there where I could just pass pass samples out the next day, you know, spend another afternoon doing that, being like, you know, hey, go to this site, check this out, this is what that is, give it a try. Um, so I, I need to do a little bit more research into the legality of it and decide what I can or can't do before I... Uh, I dive too deep into that, but that's an upcoming project of mine, and I'm very excited. Um, let's see, moving on. <laughs> I was thinking about doing a live session uh, to get to know my Kratom community better. I'm in and out of the Facebook groups all day long, you know, uh, but we don't always get to really connect. And I really want to hear your stories and kind of meet you as close to face-to-face -to -face as we can get over the internet. Um, if anybody would be interested in doing like a Google Hangouts or a Skype session or, you know, even I think there's a live something or other on YouTube that we could do and... You know, if you have questions about Kratom or you want to just share your story, um, you know, or just have have a little chat between us. It doesn't have to totally be Kratom related, but, you know, I want to get to know you guys. And it, it wouldn't, nothing would make me happier than to be able to connect. Um... I'm also thinking about starting kind of a Kratom support group. I've already got a group on <clears throat> on Facebook. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Kratom support. Yeah, I think it's Kratom support or Kratom support group. Uh, I'll double check that. <laughs> but I I want to do something locally. Somebody mentioned it in one of the in one of the groups the other day, and I was like, what a great idea, you know, uh, to get people together and connect locally and discuss Kratom and other ethnobotanicals um, and what they could do for us and, you know, just give people the information that they need. Uh, let's see. So I want to give some shout outs tonight, <laughs> sorry, I want to give some shout outs tonight to a few vendors uh, for a few different things. I want to start out by giving a big thank you to Major Kratom for getting the testimonials of your community up and you know, not only that, like offering incentives to do so, um, that's inspiring because having testimonials and saying certain things on a vendor site is a huge deal. And I, I didn't realize until I started making uh, Kratom sites, sites, websites for vendors that you really have to watch the things that you say, but they they step on that line and get people's stories out, and that's a huge deal to me. And you know what? Kudos to you guys. Thank you. You've been a real asset to our community. I would also like to give a shout-out to Sacred Plant Life, <clears throat> uh, one of my favorite vendors to date. 
really good people, a great company, um, very caring, you know, very few vendors uh, take the time to talk with their customers, let alone before they purchase anything, and, you know, the, this company is really great. Um, I've also got to say good job on the prices, you know, putting your customers before your profits is yet another huge deal in this industry. Thank you, Sacred Plant Life. I would also like to say a shout out to diacchillspot.com. <clears throat> I do volunteer for them. I do write their blog, diacchillthoughts.com, but I've gotten the chance to really know these folks, and they're very family-oriented. They have a very loving vibe to them, and they have great products as well. Uh, they have a lot of affordable options. Uh, they're always down to help their community and, you know, give them, give them a, give them a shout out yourself. Good people, Diac. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I would also like to remind you that my services include. Uh, writing blogs, doing press releases, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> I build web websites, <clears throat> and trusty old chai tea here, I build websites and I offer tech support, um, I always I always will stick around for 30 days. I will make sure that everything gets up, that everything's working properly. I will be your little errand girl, I guess, through the the net and do whatever you need me to do in those 30 days. Like I said, we can always extend it further. Uh, I also do flyers and pamphlets. I will put those together and uh, you know, I can even do like a one-page informational page if you want to kind of make a, like an online flyer, you know, for like an online informational site only. I'll do that for you. I also do calls and letters, uh, petitions. <clears throat> I will write petitions and write the letters that is needed to talk to government uh, officials that are trying to impose a ban and hopefully we can deter them from doing that you know get on botanical legal defense for always being on the front lines and doing exactly that just fighting for us and making sure that we have people in our community there to speak with these representatives and these city councils and you know, yet again, another big deal. <laughs> and, uh, you know, we, we kind of all got to <clears throat> gotta get our heads on straight here and get down to signing these petitions and writing our own letters and emails, making phone calls. You know, my daddy always said, squeaky wheel gets the grease, and he was right. He was so right. The more that you guys get a hold of them and contact them and you talk to them you tell them you know how you feel about Kratom the less that they're gonna wanna uh, ban it just because so many people are reacting in its favor and we need to get on that um, once again <clears throat> drawing tomorrow so go ahead and check out the blog diacchillthoughts.wordpress.com to find out how you get entered into my monthly drawings and uh... yeah have a great night everybody peace love and kratom <laughs>